Hello and welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the Trinity Origin uh, Drupa and Server Set. So um, it's a bit of a two-in-one sort of deal. Um, it's an all-glass uh, server and Drupa and um, it also has a interesting way of changing the flow rate and we're going to talk a little bit more um, about that. So this is an exciting new dripper that we're adding to our store and I can't wait to share it with you and open up the box and show you a little bit more of how it works and talk a bit more about the product. Great, so on the outside of the box we've got a little diagram at the top, uh, another little picture of um, the dripper made for specialty coffee. We've got some more information about the filter module and how to control your flow rate. Um, it's also got the little logo up here and designed in Brisbane, Australia. Always good to see. And uh, yeah, let's go. So this top piece just opens up. The dripper pops out just covered in some tissue paper, followed by the server itself. Just pop that box to the side. All right, so this is the dripper. It is an all glass piece and it suits the Kalita Wave 155 size filters. And as you can see, you can pop it in and it fits just like so. Perfect. Great. With the server, we've just got this sort of foam protection. And once I remove all of that, you can see that inside we have the little silicon tabs. Okay, and there we are. So, it's a very simple um, design. It's your normal high borosilicate glassware, and um, it is a, it's actually a little bit bigger than the Time More servers, which I have one just here. So as you can see, the difference in size, it's not a crazy difference, but it is somewhat relatively larger. Sweet. Okay, so let's move on to the dripper and we'll show you how that works. So in this little um, bag, there's six of these tiny little pieces and what they are is they're just a little um, piece of silicon with three sort of dots. They're almost like a piece of Lego. It reminds me of a piece of Lego. Zoom in. So it's flexible and um, what you do is you can actually adapt your flow rate um, using this grid what you can do is you can block off any particular holes that you want I might show you from that angle that might be a little bit better easier for you to see what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm just using these little pieces and I'm popping it in the holes, creating a seal and blocking that off. Um, and what this will do is, it in theory, it will uh, control your flow rate. So the it will control the amount of time that the uh, water that you're using to brew your coffee is in contact with the coffee grounds um, and filter. Um, and then it will also create resistance um, for your water to flow out. So as you can imagine, if we've only got one set of three holes, uh, which would be similar to a Kalita, um, and the way that that interacts with the filter and in turn the coffee, uh, you are creating more resistance and that will alter the characteristics of said brew. Um, so it's an interesting uh, take. And um, just one thing to note is that there's six of these little modules that come along with it. Um, and there's not one missing. It's because you always 
need a space open. So obviously if you want that space open, you can do that. You can also go ahead and just open one of these side ones, like so. Oops. It's a little bit finicky, but once you get the hang of it, it really feels like Legos. So if you closed these off like that, I think it's better if I show you from this way. So yeah, you can go ahead and um, change your brew um, if you find that, I'm not sure whether you would dial in your, your coffee um, using these. I feel like you might uh, not change this too much once you're happy with it. But this would be perfect for someone who uh, is wanting a dripper with a lot larger surface area. And then you can go ahead and you can actually change that to your desired, sorry, with a lot more uh, open area um, and more flow rate. And then you can go ahead and change it. You can try it out and then you think, oh, damn, I want a little bit less. You can go in and again, you can change that resistance level. So yeah. Nifty Little Brewer, it's available online now and it is suitable for the Kalita 155 filters. One thing to note is that with the Kalita, when you um, use the filter, it has these little uh, ledges that lift off. And um, one thing that I noted when I was um, looking at this, um, and just from the pictures you can't really tell, but um, I was thinking, oh, imagine if the filter just stuck at the bottom um, and then created a seal and then this whole thing's useless. Well, it doesn't. And the reason why it doesn't is because these, uh, they do have a little amount of space that lifts the filter up. Um, so it makes it perfect for um, giving it that extra room that's needed to brew Kalita filters. So yeah, it just sits in like this. Obviously, stress caution when you're brewing with this um, because it's glass and it's gonna be quite hot. You can grab the sides, obviously, and lift it up, but you just need to do it cautiously. Um, once you've brewed your coffee, you can pour it through. So yeah, this is the Origin Dripper from Trinity. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in this product or you have any other questions about anything else, feel free to drop a comment down below and we'll get back to you shortly. See you next time.